Hey everyone, so there was a Reddit thread that I commented in complaining that there weren't enough workflow videos for Vim, meaning videos that went over the process of how people work in Vim. So I'm going to quickly go over my process, which includes obviously Vim, and then secondly GNU Screen, which is one of the most awesome tools ever to come across the earth, aside from Tmux, which I don't use, but hopefully someone else will make a video about that. So let's dive into it. Firstly, I'm just in a pretty standard terminal, but I don't want to work here. I want to work inside a screen session. So I'm going to start a screen session here. Et voila. I have a custom patched version of screen. There will be a link to that in the blog post so you guys can patch it yourself. It's just to add 256 color support to the heart status, which it does not support by default. So the first thing I do when I open up screen is Vim is my main window. So I just rename it as such and then go into my working directory. So let's go to Ranveer for a second. So here I'm just going to open up Vim targeting my current directory and then NerdTree is going to take care of the rest. If you're not familiar with NerdTree, it just makes awesome directories like this. So I can open and close and expand recursively and close and make this my current directory and move up a directory etc so this is how I get into a project if you want to call it that so for example here I'm just going to open this file in a new tab I use tabs evidently incorrectly but I prefer that is my standard workflow um, I find it easier to notice the tabs up here then fuck around with a bunch of buffers and I find it easier to move around in tabs than in buffers but you may uh, do that differently so after I have my Vim window open depending on what I'm working on I'm gonna open at least two other windows the first window I'm gonna open aside from my Vim window is my shell so at the very least while I'm working, I'm going to have Vim open, and then if I need to do some stuff on the shell, like do some git work, git status, I can just do that here without closing Vim, I can just switch back and forth. It's awesome, it's quick, and it doesn't use shitty GNOME terminal tabs, or windows, or any bullshit like that. It's just clean and fast, I like, I like that. So. The project I'm working on right now is a server and it requires a client. So I'm just going to open a new window, call it server, and a new one, call it client. In my server, repos Ranveer, I'm going to start up my server. Who would have thunk it? Um, don't record my password. And then in my client. I'm going to connect to it. So the reason I like the Vim and GNU screen workflow is that A, I'm in my terminal the entire time. B, it's fast. Uh, C, I can customize it any way I want because I have a screen RC, I have a Vim RC, and I have a bash RC. What I'm, ho I'm hoping is after I do this video is for someone to do a similar video using perhaps ZSH, uh, Tmux, um, perhaps some other workflow that involves buffers um, or something along those lines. So that's my workflow in a nutshell. If you have any questions, put it in the thread. There's going to be a blog post that goes along with this that's going to have links to my screen RC, my bash RC, my Vim RC, and all the plugins that I use. Thank you.